Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to do that now. Also, if you have something positive or constructive to say, feel free to drop it in the comment section below and I'll try to get to it in the next couple of days. But as always, be sure to keep it positive, keep it on topic, make it about the content and not about the messenger. All right, moving on to your story for your Saturday morning. This deals with one of my favorite topics, zombies. Though, The Walking Dead is more my speed than Romero. Romero's a bit before my, um, before my years of dedicated movie watching um probably the best <laughs> probably my favorite romero based thing is actually the remake of uh, dawn of the dead but i digress but romero is in fact still with us um from beyond the grave uh, uh making movies and um rather his movies are coming to the screen still brad anderson signs on to helm romero's twilight of the dead he has big shoes to fill. Brad Anderson, best known to genre fans as the man behind The Machinist and Session 9, has become has come on board as the director of Twilight of the Dead, the final zombie movie from the legendary George A. Romero, according to a report on Deadline. Romero's 1968 Night of the Living Dead, which I used to have on VHS, actually, uh, may have been the first real horror movie I ever saw, Anderson said, and its shock value and its keen social relevance were hugely inspirational to me. Uh, the new film, Anderson continued, is also a zombie movie in which limbs fly and heads roll, but one that's also about social transformation and asks the question, what is it to be part? What is it to be human? It's also a horror movie that, with heart and I dare say hope. The roundtable entertainment film, the seventh and final entry in the classic Living Dead franchise, was started by Romero before his death in 2017 and finished by screenwriters Joe Netter, Robert Lucas, and. Paola Zolati. The new feature set on Tropical Island takes a look at the dark nature of humanity from the perspective of the last humans on Earth who are caught between factions of the undead. Keep reading Horror News Network for the latest on Twilight of the Dead. All right, so as I pointed up out front, um, not a huge devotee of Romero. I like Night of the Living Dead. I like... Um, Dawn of the Dead, the remake more so, just because it was oozing with style, uh, courtesy of Zack Snyder. Uh, but I respect the importance of Romero, and I think um, this film coming after his death would probably be, in a weird way, a shot in the arm for his legacy, um, giving uh, somebody else the opportunity to complete that legacy, or perhaps um, acting as a launch pad for future projects, if it's allowed, um, within his universe. Um, and it should serve as a way of sort of bringing to close um, what he did over a lifetime. Uh, Romero is, of course, a Pennsylvania boy like myself. Um, him working out of the Pittsburgh area, which is the exact opposite of the state from where I am in the far northeast of Pennsylvania. But there always is that connection, uh, which I do bring up sometimes in conversation when we're talking about um, low budget uh, horror. And there you have it. Um, are you familiar with this new director coming on board to finish Romero's work? If so, uh, tell me what you think about this news in the comment section below. Until next time, keep it creepy.